Good morning, everybody. Buddy Webb, Midland, Texas. A uh, little video I'm going to do for your day. I think it's going to be really interesting. So, uh, something I noticed, uh, I was preparing to do a video based on a Facebook post, as I often do. And I, and then all of a sudden, I couldn't find the Facebook post. And, and you know, it was like gone. And and then I, and, and I'm sitting there thinking, I've seen that happen before. And you do a refresh on your screen, and it'll show back up. And I think that's shadow banning is what it is what it is 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 it's being blocked where by by certain people you know on certain servers whatever it's limited in the number of people can see the facebook post and possibly the same thing's going on over at, at, at youtube and because i've had other people tell me i can't watch that video and they get a message or whatever and and you know and and it's basically uh just this type of censorship to limit the number of people that see the, these the the truth the facts you know that's what i'm showing here so anyway what i'm going to show you here i'm looking for a facebook post i'm at the top of my uh facebook right here this is my timeline they used to call it it's the top of it and the, and 15 minutes ago i posted this story uh at clyde texas a man they found his his body here it was another one I shared. Biden administration urges Supreme Court to let cops enter homes and seize guns without a warrant. I shared that story. This one was about being held accountable, and I talked about you know the people that that made the choice to break in my home with guns and and cut my phone lines and shoot me by surprise, you know, and and you know their poor decision resulted in an innocent homeowner being crippled for life, you know, and there's consequences to that, and they need to be held accountable. This was somebody tagged me on a on a TikTok video about tunnels there, and I just put my comment with the people in the attic video on it. Ten hours ago, my, here's another Facebook post. Spring Breaker, uh, woman drugged, raped, found dead in Miami Beach. I shared that one. Another, this is a joke. Okay, here I am, uh, Monkey Works. That was another video that was sent to me in private message I shared. Uh, it mentioned tunnels. This one, I thought... Uh, you know, I made that yesterday. I'm a crippled victim of gun violence after being ambushed and shot during a burglary, but I strongly support homeowners' right to protect lives with the gun. The killers have them. Okay, and that was the point I'm making in that Facebook post. And so here we are. We're at 12 hours. L.A. opens its first tiny home village. And so the, the post that I'm looking for that I was going to make this video out of, I just don't see it there. Here's another one. Sex traffickers target uh, Native American children. This is my, my Facebook post just within the last 12 hours, okay? Here, here's a, a missing woman out of Abilene, and et cetera. And I'm scrolling scrolling down uh, scripture. I post a scripture every day, okay? The various news stories. Okay, that, that's how Facebook works. The one I'm looking for isn't there, okay? So what I'm going to do is refresh right here my screen, okay? And that's going to reload it. And then I'm going to go scroll down. and There it is. See, it wasn't there. That's the one I was going to make. That's what I'm talking about. That's the shadow banning. Is that, you know, I wanted to show you that, that it's not there. It is there. It's not there. It is there. And I'm thinking there, and that's not an accident. That's on purpose, specifically on purpose to block this story. Because this is an incredible story of homes all across America being rigged with hidden access and, and just burglaries by the hundreds of thousands, theft, murder, secret police, the doctors up there uh, faking x-rays, maiming, mutilating, dismembering crime victims. Huge, huge story. I just want to show you that shadow banning. Let's jump into what the, I was going to make the video about in the first place. And that was this, time, this post. I wrote, police are allowing felonies. Burglary of a habitation is a felony. Anybody comes into your home uninvited and, and you know, for the during the commission of a felony, assault, theft, etc., like they're still in here, they're still in uh, electricity, heating, cooling, shelter, etc., that, that, that's a felony. That's called burglary of a habitation. You get 10 years just for one felony, okay? These are going on every single day and not just my home, homes all over the place. That's what this is about. And, you know, and 
you know, there was a while where the police could play stupid, you know. Oh, he thinks people are nasty. He's crazy, you know. And that's what happened. That life-destroying lies were spread about me. And, and you know, and the crimes are crazy. But the truth is, there is somebody been in the attic, you know. I mean, I finally proved it. Why come you don't have pictures? Well, I finally proved they were hacking the cameras, you know. But but the, these people trying to cover up these these crimes and murders, they, they want to ignore them facts, you know. And, and, and that's what I've called the police. I've gone to the Texas Rangers. I've called the FBI, you know, I mean, I've called congressmen and presidents and, and you know, you name it. I've, I mean, reporters and, and I, I mean, it's just amazing what's going on here. Anyway, I'm going to read this short read. This is a list of homes where I documented the owners reporting people in the attic since I was ambushed and shot with burglar alarms called my attic, okay? I, w I was, you know, that's documented. I was reporting that burglar alarms going to my attic when I was ambushed and shot. The, the ER nurse documented that. And besides that, I had already reported something in my attic 14 months before that. They cover up the crimes, uh, these crimes, by falsely labeling the homeowners crazy, regardless of how much evidence that is. And that's what I've seen here. And then also on the police scanner calls, you'll see where the dispatcher is calling the 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 crime victim crazy before the police ever get there. You know, I've got several examples of that. That's the modus operandi to cover up these crimes. This list of homes is just the ones that I've happened to find out about, so obviously there are many more of them. I lived here for two years before I figured out it was going on at my home. Come to find out, the last owner of my home was reporting burglaries before he died. What a coinky dinky. That means coincidence. Your home could be rigged right now with somebody in the attic and you don't know it yet. These burglars don't pay rent, they don't pay taxes, and they don't pay utilities. It's, you're paying for that. I mean, it, this is this is a money-making crime operation. And, and I suspect that's wh why you're having all the police corruption and, you know, and their bribes are being paid off, you know, where police look the other way and, and, uh, and, and, and allow, allow these felonies to be committed. If you try to stop them like I did, you may be murdered, okay, with it covered up by the secret police and the press. And, and I don't know how many times I said I had to pay to get them police identified. took six years, and a $2,000 reward of disability money saved up to, to get them identified. I mean, this is just lawlessness, in-your-face, bold law. That should have been a national news story in itself. They can take pictures of you and your family anytime they want. You know, I, I've been here by myself for, for many years, but I used to be married. She had an underage daughter. You can bet they're taking pictures of, of, of when we had sex or in the bathroom. You know, how many how many sheets of toilet paper I use when I sit on the pot. And then even children. And, and it's not just my home. It's all these other homes, too. They can also easily get your password. So, I mean, they can hack your, your security system. They can hack your computer. They can hack your phone, whatever, you know. This is what I've been trying to get law enforcement to stop. That's why I've contacted hundreds and hundreds of times various law enforcement and sending them evidence, you know, and me going up there and nothing seems to be able to stop these crimes. There are many victims besides myself. However, I did see a motion light on in my attic uh, today. and Well, actually, it was yesterday. That's because I wrote this. Uh, it says seven hours ago, last night before I went to bed. And then I went people in the attic, and this is the, uh, you know, the video that I share all the time. And here's just a list of the addresses here. See, back when I was ambushed and shot, or first reporting people in the attic, or ambushed and shot and saying, you know, burglars, I'm going off the attic, I didn't have all this. I didn't, ha I didn't have all these police scanner calls. I didn't know this was going on at all these other homes, you know. I mean, I just knew what was happening at my home in Midland. So then, you know, I put a, a, a link here to people in the attic on this, and I've already got it ready up here. And basically, just to give you an example, here here's right in the middle of this one. Okay, so that they called Viola 1096. What that means is mental patient crazy. That's the dispatcher. So the dispatcher has already labeled this crime victim that called the police and, and asked for help because they have a felony. They have an active, an, probably an armed and dangerous criminal, an armed and dangerous secret police protected criminal breaking into their home and they're falsely labeled as crazy. Life-destroying lies are being spread about Viola and myself and all these other 
other crime victims, and that's how they cover up these crimes. This video here is that is that list and more because there's so many homes I can't even count all the number of homes now that I know of that I didn't know of before. But that's just homes here local, right here in Midland, Odessa. I can't get Odessa no more because they blocked their scanner calls. And you know, and and why did they do that? Because I was recording these these calls showing, hey, look at all these people reporting people in the attic, you know. Here in Midland, I, I sent in a request and asked for a list of all the homeowners who reported some of the attic, and they wrote back and said nobody had. That included me, you know. I mean, I got the police report. My Vivint alarm system, I installed the attic to prove this. I have the police report, you know. And so, so obviously they're covering up the crimes, and that I think that's probably even this shadow banning from Facebook, and I believe it's probably going on in YouTube too. I mean, this should be a national headline news story with millions and millions of views. You know, I mean, I mean that's all. There, there should have been arrest a long time ago. These crimes should stop many murders ago. You know, okay. And and so I went into my comments here. I talked to Jennifer who was the woman that was calling the police about people in the attic at, on Chelsea Place. That's one of the addresses up there, 2903, okay? I just happened over here that, and that was only last year, just a few months ago, okay? And I was talking on the phone, and she's crying, and, and she's, she says, I'm so freaking scared. I, I couldn't blame her. I, since I know how dangerous these criminals are, you know? And uh, that is in this video, but... Hello, everybody. Everybody... But I don't, uh, it's 20 minutes long and I'd have to find the, you know, find the phone call here. I ain't going to spend much time. It doesn't include the ones that have been told. See if I can get to it real quick. There we go. Let's listen to Jennifer again, okay? These are how evil these criminals are. And I didn't speak to her, so she'll find out. Here we go. Alarms going off. That's what she said. Security system going off. Hear somebody, and it goes on, and she's crying. That I'm so freaking scared. I felt sorry for her, you know. And, and and she has every right to be scared. They ambushed and shot with my, me with my phone lines cut, you know. And then use secret police to cover up that that failed murder. You know, the, the next one. My roofer told me about a home on Dartnell Street, and when I was doing research on, it, I noticed the next door neighbor was the parents of Curtis Lloyd. He was the guy that found the remains of Haley Dunn in Scurry County two days after I wrote the Department of Justice and suggested they look in the underground homes here. I thought that was very another big kawinky dinky, right? You know, because I always suspected Curtis was chosen somehow to go out there and find them remains because I got a dozen people documented saying that little 13-year-old famous missing murder child, Haley Dunn, was killed in Odessa, and that's Ector County. But her remains are found in Scurry County two days after I wrote the Department of Justice. That's what I show in this little clip okay. right here. Okay, and I suggested that you come to my house and you look for the underground facility. I have overwhelming evidence to support the allegations of the underground facility. I mentioned Haley Dunn. I said maybe she is being held by these slavers behind my home right now. And and so I, I sent this email this to the Department of Justice and two days later her remains are found in Scurry County by Curtis Lloyd. I would later find out that the next door neighbor of a home where they were reporting people in the attic was the parents of Curtis Lloyd. I suspect he grew up in that home, you know, on Dartmouth Street. And so that was that was another one here. And then, and I'm only doing a few examples. A woman who lives in my hometown of Hobbs, New Mexico told me about people in the attic where she lived and she went on to say that her boyfriend had told her that him and another guy shot somebody in 
in Midland. This shows these crimes cross the state line. And I suspected it was probably me, you know, but I never got the names or whatever. I did tap print screens and proof of this. That's what's in this video. And I sent it to law enforcement, but it's like a black hole when I send, uh, you know, evidence to law enforcement about these violent yeah, crimes. It fits all the uh, evidence. And, and she's like, oh, I know Laura Rogers, et cetera, 45 handgun. And then she goes, when Donnie was drunk, he and his friend shot a guy. And I said, in Hobbs? And she says, no, Midland. And I'm like, wow, maybe this guy shot me, you know? And, and I'm like, who's this? Do you see how big that is? I mean, if it didn't shoot me, he shot somebody else. That's what she's telling me. You know, did they did they die? Was this cold blooded murder? You know, why isn't this in the news? You know, I mean, I you know I've screenshotted it, documented her telling me that, and this is somebody that was reporting people in the attic in my hometown of Hobbs, New Mexico. Okay, okay, and then I went on my next post here after I had survived the home invasion and murder attempt here in Midland. I learned that people were saying, "Oh, he thought people were breaking into Hobbs." As, as if I was crazy or whatever, right? Okay. And the truth was, I hadn't even considered that, but I, but I feel sure of it now. In 2002, my youngest daughter noticed a light on in the attic, and I hadn't been up there. But I suspected that it was an ex-wife named Cindy that I'd just filed a divorce on, okay? After I found out about all these other many homeowners reporting people in the attic that there's many, many homes rigged with this hidden access where these felonies are being allowed by, by law enforcement, I thought about the home, home in Hobbs, and I asked the XY Cindy online if she'd been in the attic, and she replied back, I wasn't in the freaking attic. This, she sounded truthful, which meant that if Cindy wasn't in the freaking attic, then somebody else was in the freaking attic, and that home was rigged, the home that I moved from. I lived there 16 years, never even suspected it, right? Come over here to this home. See, the ex wife told me here in Midland, she told me one time, she said, you were chosen to buy this home. Well, who chose me? Why did they choose me? They choose me because of my life insurance, because I was easy to murder, because my family turned their back on me. You know, uh, well, I've got killers breaking in my home, you know, uh, you know, because I own my home. They're going to make a lot of money when they murder. Why? I don't know. Who? I don't know, you know. And But anyway, I was chosen. That means it happened before I moved here, okay? That home that in Hobbs was built by my first in-laws, the Callaways, who also built the one next to it where they used to live, okay? My dad married Ann Calloway after the murder attempt, and then they quit talking to me for the last uh, several years. My dad died in 27, 17. I feel strongly that home was rigged just like this one with the tunnel going from that other home and they built both them homes. And that's what I'm showing on freaking attic right here. I think I got it right here. Okay. And, and so here I'm showing the messages between me and Cindy. Cindy died not long after this. And that's amazing because there's so many people that die, you know, and you, you know, she's my age, of course. And that was my whole point is because I assumed all them years it was Cindy that got my attic because I proved Cindy had been sitting in my home. And Cindy wrote back here, and, uh, and you know, this is, you know, this didn't even fit. I don't know anybody that wants to kill you. That's ridiculous. Of course, I didn't say anything about wanting to kill me there, you know, even though I've had my life threatened many times and survived a murder attempt, right? But anyway, she says, I never got in a freaking attic. That's how come I'm naming this victim. Okay, yeah, and, and that's what I was saying a while ago. Well, if Cindy to get a friggin' addict, then somebody else did, and that means that home was rigged. And I'm sitting there thinking, ah, I wonder if the Callaways rigged that. And, you know, that was them first in laws, and, and that would explain Ann Callaway ended up marrying my dad, them quitting talking to me while I'm living under the threat of death with criminals breaking into my home every day, you know. And, and so the last post here, we're going to end this. I have a playlist on my YouTube channel, which is called Attic Investigations with a list of videos for the various other homes where the owners reported somebody in the attic. And I have a link to my playlist. And, and I have a screenshot. And, and I, I'm going to show you here. I think I'll just go there and show you. And um, because what I can do here, and let me go. This is my YouTube channel right here, okay? And then up on the menu bar is playlist, okay? So then you go into playlist. This is my playlist I've created, and I have one called Attic Investigations, okay? Nine videos is in this playlist, 
I'm going to pause that. And over here on the right is the list of the videos. And that's these videos I was showing you. Four homes in Odessa. That's one I didn't even talk about. One in Carlsbad, New Mexico. That's the one where the lady set the home on fire. You know, Here's a smoker in the attic on 300 Hickory Street. These are videos I didn't even put in that Facebook post. Okay, And these are some of the other homes where I've made the videos. And, you know, and I'm thinking what you know, real law enforcement could use these in their investigation and stop this crime ring that's rigged in these private homes and killing people and stealing their, their property and, and, and all the other crimes that, that they're committing. What's going on here is lawlessness. Of course, I thought it was interesting that, that this, this Facebook post wasn't showing up. It shows up and then it doesn't show up. Remember, I refreshed it and all of a sudden it was magically there. Shadow banning. Buddy Webb, Midland, Texas.